Welcome to A Ride Through the Heavens. Join me as we visit the Parthenon in Nashville. We'll fly along a few sites over the Tennessee River, and we'll explore a few bridges. We'll see a beautiful hidden waterfall with a special surprise. We'll take a drive up to the Suwannee Memorial Cross, sitting on the edge of a college campus bluff. So join me as we take a ride through the heavens. We start our visit in Tennessee at the Parthenon in Centennial Park in Nashville. The Parthenon here is a full-scale replica of the Parthenon in Athens, Greece, built for the Tennessee Centennial Expo in 1897. The inside holds a 42-foot gilded statue of Athena, holding a 6-foot tall statue of Nike. This is a full-scale replica of the statue in the Parthenon in Athens. The detail is stunning. Here's a picture of the 1897 Centennial Park, and here it is being reconstructed in 1923. The inlaid details around the outside of the building are absolutely amazing and are shown in two smaller scales inside the exhibit. The replica Parthenon was built as the centerpiece of the Tennessee Centennial Expo in 1879. Originally it was intended as a contemporary exhibit and was made of brick, wood, and plaster. Would you look at that? Somebody crashed their FPV drone on the roof. Hate to be that guy. The people of Nashville protested plans for the building's demolition at the close of the Centennial Celebration. The original building stood until 1921 when the City of Nashville agreed to begin the reconstruction, this time with permanent materials. Built to last with concrete, steel, and marble, this building should be around for a long time. Oh, oh man, I almost became that guy. Alright, where was I? This building was completed a decade later in 1931, and in 1988, rehabilitation of the interior was completed. The statue of Athena was completed in 1990, and the gold gilding process wasn't complete until 2002. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to learn more about this amazing building. From there, we traveled about an hour and a half southeast to the campus of the University of the South in Sewanee, Tennessee. The Sewanee Memorial Cross sits on a wooded area on the edge of a bluff on the campus. On March 22, 1866, five men, led by the local bishop and Major George R. Fairbanks, a former Confederate officer, met at a site on the Cumberland Plateau where the University of the South buildings stood before they were destroyed during the Civil War. Aided by local workmen, the leaders planted a simple wooden cross 
12 feet high in what is now St. Luke's Hall and declared a refounding of the university. Today, motorists driving on Highway 41A see another cross, a 60 foot tall edifice illuminated by lights. This cross rose almost six decades after the 12 foot wooden cross in the fall of 1921. There are beautiful hiking trails, stunning views, and just a wonderful place to reflect and pray. This cross is now a memorial to those who served our country. We then drove about 20 miles east to the Foster Falls Recreation Area to see a hidden waterfall in the hills. I took my drone up from the parking lot, but it took me a while to find this little pool carved out of the terrain. Unfortunately, the lack of snow and rain this fall all but dried up this river and waterfall. You can see just a bit of a trickle falling from the rocks. This area is known as the Fiery Gizzard Trailhead with amazing hiking trails and beautiful views. Regardless, this is a beautiful area if you want to go on a serious nature hike. From there, we headed south and found ourselves riding along the Tennessee River on Highway 41. We found a boat launch along the river to stop and explore from the skies. There were some beautiful waterfront homes and cottages with docks for summer swimming and boating. It was a beautiful sight on a beautiful day. When I finally arrived at my destination of Chattanooga, I stopped again upstream on the Tennessee River along the Riverfront Parkway downtown. I couldn't resist flying under the three bridges besides the docked Southern Bell River boats. This is the Alagiati Memorial Bridge, which is Highway 29. I'm sure I messed up that name. That's me standing on the pier on the right. Up ahead is the Chief John Ross Historic Drawbridge for Market Street travelers. And 
just past that is the Walnut Street Bridge, which is a restored pedestrian bridge. After realizing I'm low on battery power, I had to turn back before trying to make it to the Veterans Memorial Bridge ahead. So I started heading back. This is a popular area to watch boaters and boat racing during the summer. Along the river you can see the Passage Water Walk, a memorial to the Cherokee Trail of Tears, and the Tennessee Aquarium on the right. I'm sorry I didn't have enough battery power left to fly around the architecture of those beautiful buildings. But I am glad you joined me for this short trip through Tennessee. But I have to land before my drone decides to go for a swim. If you enjoyed this, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new videos. And I hope you join us for our next Ride Through the Heavens.